There's a nice system. How many variables do we see on this thing? All right, we got an X, a Y, and a Z. The problem with this system is that not all three variables are in all three of the equations, right? That first equation right here at the top, there's no Z. The middle one, there's no Y, and the bottom one, there's no X. So here's kind of what I recommend, not that you really have to, but uh, I would rewrite this. Let me specify. So I would have an X column, a Y column. Well, that's Y, so it works. A Z column and a number column. And this is leading up to something a little bit different, but most people prefer these, this other method, all right? So I got from this first equation, 3X plus 2Y. If you wanted to, you could put plus 0Z. But why write more, right? This equals negative 1. And then the next equation, I've got an X, a 6X, minus a Z. So I put that Z in that column. 2Z. Oh, yeah. My bad. Thank you. Um, copying stuff is hard. So we got Y minus, this is the third equation, equals 2. Now, why would we want to write this? I don't know. It's easier for me to see what's happening, but for you, if it's not, don't. Okay? Now, like I was saying in that last slide is we've got to choose, well, we've got to choose two equations and then choose a variable to eliminate, okay? Now, in the book, they're going to say something like this. This is equation one, this is equation two, and this is equation three. I don't really care if you do that. It's not required. It just may be a pretty quick way to identify which equations are which. All right, so let's choose an equation. Uh, which two equations should we use? The bottom two. The bottom two. All right, that's what I heard. So I've got 6x minus 2z equals 4. And then I've got y minus 3z equals 2. Let's isolate these so we're just working with them. The reason I'm isolating these is so that we can focus on smaller parts of this problem at a time. All right? Now here's the next question, is we've got to choose which variable we want to eliminate. So let, here's a good question then that goes along with this. Can we eliminate the x's? No. We can't. Why not? There's no X's right there, right? We could, we could put zero there, but whatever we scale this by is going to, well, it's going to produce another zero. Can we eliminate the Y's? No. No? Because there's no Y's in this equation right here, right? So that's no good. But it is okay since we can eliminate the Z's. So based on what you know already, how would we eliminate those Z's? Excellent. Excellent. Let's do that. So I'm going to multiply that top equation by 3 and this bottom equation by a negative 2. Now I'm multiplying every single one of the terms by these factors, okay? Or multiples, whatever you want to call it. Um, Why are you not doing it by negative 3? So here's what we need. We need the coefficients. Since we chose to eliminate the z's, we need the coefficients of the z's to be the opposites. Meaning they're the same numbers, but one's positive and one's negative. Then when I add them together, they eliminate. So let's see how that works, okay? That's I got the 6x times 3, which is 18x minus, well, it's a negative 2z times 3, still a negative 6z. And this equals 4 times 3, which is 12. All right, next up, we're going to multiply that bottom equation by that negative 2. So I've got a negative 2y uh, plus 6z. That's what we wanted. We wanted those coefficients to be opposites. And then 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Any questions on? Well, let's go ahead and add these two together. 
So I've got 8, 18x plus, well, there's, there's no x's right there, so I still have 18x. On that top one, I don't have any y's, so 0 minus 2y would be a negative 2y. The negative 6z plus 6z, that's going to cancel out, just become 0. So it's gone. That's what we wanted. And then I've got 12 plus negative 4, which is uh, 8. All right, so let's look. We, we use this second equation and the third equation there. The nice thing about what, what, well, this problem specifically is that this equation doesn't have any z's. So we don't need to combine it with any of the other two equations to eliminate z. It's just eliminated. So if I write that, I'm going to write it with this equation that we just produced here at the bottom. The 18x minus 2y equals 8. So let's write that out. See, now I have a system of equations with only two variables. Now, if this is confusing, that's maybe because it's a little jumbled. So let's just look at this part of this problem. So is there anyone that would choose to eliminate the x's just out of curiosity? You could. Well, wouldn't you just eliminate the y's because they're already a positive and a negative? That is exactly what I would do. The y's have opposite coefficients. So when I combine those, when I add those together, I get a 0. They eliminate so I'll take 18 plus the 3x, that's 21x. That equals uh, 8 plus negative 1, which is uh, 7. So I would take both sides and divide by 21, just solving equation stuff. And I'd, get, I'd simplify that to 1 third. Well, there's my x value. Is We don't have to do that entire process two more times, OK? And that's great. Um, the way this one sets up, and I know a lot of people complain because teachers do the easy problems. I didn't, I didn't kind of choose this one on purpose, and we're going to do a harder one in, in a minute. So uh, this one's going to turn out pretty easy because let's look at the other three equations, all right? So there's our system. We found that x was one-third. So uh, you see these, see these other two, like this... This equation here at the top, right? If I replace the x with the one-third, I could solve the equation for y pretty, pretty easy there, right? Let's set that up. We got a 3 this is times x, which is one-third. That's what we think it is anyways, right? Because we're going to check. Plus 2y equals negative 1. All right, well, what is 3 times one-third? That's 1. And I still have plus 2y equals negative 1. So to solve this problem, I would subtract 1 from both sides. And I would get 2y equals negative 2. And dividing both sides by 2, we find that y equals negative 1. So I just divided those two. And the question is, which one? Well, as it turns out, there's not really a shorter one on this one, right? But I do the bottom one so you don't have a fraction that you have to work Okay, let's, let's do the bottom one because the x is a fraction, and I mean, I mean it's not if we're normal people, we hate fractions, right? right? And that's okay. So let's do the bottom one. I've got y, which is negative 1. That was a little sloppy, but it works equals 2. So this is the bottom equation here. But I've replaced the y with negative 1. So I'll add 1 to both sides. And I get negative 3z equals 3. And to solve for z, I would divide both sides by negative 3. And I get z... Oh man, I really ran out of space there, didn't I? z equals negative 1. So there are our three answers. As an ordered triple, this would be one third, negative one, and negative one. And this would be how we would write the actual answer there. Now I'm not going to check because I know the answer is right. Uh, For a million dollars? For a million dollars, I would. But I can just push the button and see the answer. Here's the <laughs> here's the thing about that. All right, is you should practice doing the checking. 
Um, I'm not really just for time's sake. Okay, I want to make sure we can get through the whole lesson. And you see how long that problem took? Like, if you got to the end of this problem and found that you had got the wrong answer, I mean, find, don't find any people to beat up, but, you know, maybe a bat and a ball or something to kick. If you have a dog, you can do that, right? The common I mistake I always made I'm, before. Yeah, and, and that's something I would expect, okay? But just something so small, maybe even it's a minus and a plus. Maybe you added when you should have subtracted. Something as small as that is going to throw your answer way off. Okay? So keep that in mind. Well, that looks pretty. I mean, right? That looks like one of those problems they put on a commercial. <laughs>